Crocodilians are superficially similar to large lizards such as crocodiles, caimans, alligators, gavials and their families, but they are probably more closely related to birds with which they share several behavioral and possibly cognitive characteristics. Crocodiles can be found in the tropical habitats of Africa, Asia, Australia and the Americas. They typically live in the vicinity of lakes, rivers, wetlands and even some saltwater areas. For saltwater crocodiles, there are salt glands on the tongues of the crocodiles. Such modified salivary glands help withstand crocodiles living in salt water. Crocodiles live in tropical climate for a reason. They are cold-blooded and they cannot produce their own heat. They hibernate or go inactive during colder months. During long periods of drought, crocodiles will go dormant as well. They dig a burrow on the side of the river bank or lake to build a place to hibernate and settle in for a long night. Nevertheless, crocodiles can affect nutrient cycling, the role of the ecosystem, and the productivity of fisheries in the areas they inhabit. Small and medium-sized crocodiles can go without feeding for months and can survive fast that last many years for the largest individuals. The crocodiles are an incredibly rugged and sturdy species. A constant armor of bony plates covering much of its body and a powerful jaw muscles capable of crushing everything from bones to cast iron. Species are primarily classified by the proportions of the snout, by the dorsal or upper surface bony structures of the snout, and by the number and arrangements of the scales. Terrestrial hunting seems to be a regular behavior in large omnivorous crocodile species. The metabolism of crocodiles is very low, with the benefit of using energy very effectively and not needing to eat regularly. Their low metabolic rates allow crocodiles to spend long periods underwater, either to avoid from predators or to remain hidden from their terrestrial prey. Crocodiles are carnivores, meaning that they only consume meat. They feast in the wild on fish, on birds, on frogs and on crustaceans. They eat small animals that were slaughtered for them in the zoo such as rodents, fish or mice. They eat leaf locusts as well. In the wild, with their huge jaws, crocodiles will clamp down on their prey, crush it and then swallow the prey whole. Like most species, they do not have the ability to chew or break off tiny bits of food. Crocodiles sometimes forage underwater. Few species are known to take terrestrial prey far out of the water, but most of their prey, including aquatic creatures, such as fish is taken in the shallows or near the bank so that the head is out of the water at the moment the jaws are swept toward the prey. Occasionally, in order to hunt land creatures, the crocodile passively floats or stays motionless at the edge of the water where the prey normally drinks. It sees an unfortunate animal with a sudden lunge and drowns it. A crocodile will grip parts of the victim in its jaws if the prey is huge and rotate quickly in the water to break the prey apart. This deadly ballet or rotation is the infamous death roll. New study by Vladimir Dinets finds that small sticks or known tools can be used by crocodiles to lure birds searching for nesting materials. In marshy areas where these reptiles and birds meet, 
there is sometimes a lack of sticks during the nesting season and birds sometimes also battle between themselves to obtain sticks to build nests. It becomes a meal if the birds get too close. Through a sideways turn of the muzzle, crocodiles trap water creatures in their jaws. In the scales around the mouth, they have sensitive pressure receptors located in pits that sense motion. These structures help to capture prey in dark or muddy water. Crocodiles often select habitat that have shallow water as hatchling usually seen in shallow water close to shoreline of the open banks. The female typically stays close to the nest to shield the eggs from predators before hatching occurs. Crocodile populations have declined across their range as human occupation and changes in land use have limited their habitat. Many crocodile species, which provide leather for handbags, shoes, belts, and other objects, have been greatly depleted by overhunting for their precious skin. There is also a common local use of crocodiles for meat and medicine.